Yo, I should have asked you this earlier, and I don't know why it just popped into my head just now. We mentioned Nas being one of the greatest ever. You got to put him in the top three, top five of all time. Did you hear, did you, what 21 Savage was like, yo, Nas ain't relevant right now? Mm. Yeah, I heard that. From his perspective. Do we give, from, do we no, give him from a his pass? Perspective, he's from his age group. From where uh -huh. he's from, he's not relevant. He's not lying. To us, that's like saying Jesus Christ don't exist. You know what I'm saying? It's like blasphemy. Like, are you crazy? But he's not us. He's probably, is he even 30 yet? Like he nah, missed, he's in his 20s. he missed the classics. He missed, he missed what we witnessed. You know what I'm saying? He missed it. Them niggas is listening to a different type of music. A different hi-hat, a different sound, a different bop and swing. They not hearing what we hearing. It's too, it's hip-hop, but it's separate genres of what we do. And Nas' genre is not relevant to his genre. It's just not the same sandwich. That, that, that's, that's truth. He's not. He's That's speaking true. from his it's perspective. Real. Yo, when you look out Man. the window, you're looking out the window through your eyes. You can't speak for nobody else. So if 21 Savage thinks that Nas is not relevant, that's what he thinks. You you can, he could probably hear a million Nas albums and still say the same shit. Well, he's not relevant. Yeah, that's dope, but hey, I'm listening to this shit over here. It's different. And that's cool. Everybody, everybody can do that. Have your opinion. We know. Mm -hmm. Nas is top five dead or alive. We know that. Yeah. You know? Mm. It's just okay. diff it's just different. There's different levels to this shit, man. And Nas, you know, again, shout out to Nas. He got And he then got they his, did uh, a song together, right? Yeah, then they did a song exactly. together. Exactly. So yeah. what what that did was bridge the gap. Like, yep. okay. See, Nas came at it like a an adult, not mad. Like, okay, that's what you feel. Let's let's record together, and then we can vibe and we can come to terms, and then you can see why I'm the nicest. And I'm sure if they was in the studio together, I, I'm sure Twenty One Savage saw <laughs> why. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. He bridged the gap. You don't gotta come at it all. Fuck that. Just that. You let 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 the other people do that. Let the people, the com the commentators do that. Nas came at it the right way. Let me embrace this young brother. Yo, yo, my nigga, it's popping. Woo -woo. Because yeah, me personally, I don't listen to Twenty One Savage, but he must be good because I think Complex named him the most influential rapper or some shit. You know, you know what's the crazy shit? When I hear Twenty One Savage, you know what tone I hear? I hear Ice T's tone. Mm -hmm. Listen yep. to Ice T back in the days and play Twenty One Savage. It's the same tone, the same effort in their music. When I hear Twenty One, he's like the new Ice T to me. When I hear it sonically, like oh, he's he got that that low, you know, that low tone. So, you know, shout to Twenty One Savage. <laughs> I, I mean, um, everybody entitled to their own opinion. And like you said, um, I think Nas handled it the right And I, for that matter, 21 handled it the right way. He spoke his truth and they came together and they put out a dope joint. So, right. yeah. All right. And I don't think um, he was being, he wasn't being like spiteful saying some shit like that. He was just talking like he's not relevant. You know? No, he's speaking his truth. He's exactly. a kid. Exactly. He's speaking his truth. 